Okay, hey. Hey fans, hey people, hey friends. Um, today I'm going to answer some questions that a lot of you have had. What is glutathione? What does it do exactly? Is it a vitamin? Is it a hormone? What is it? Let's talk about that now. Let's go through what some of the NIH research has shown us that the benefits of glutathione should be. Okay, glutathione is a tripeptide. What does that mean? It means it's made up of three amino acids. We're not sure if it's a hormone, if it's a vitamin or what, but the FDA classifies it as a supplement or a vitamin. And there's been tons of research on it by a lot of universities and even the NIH where they've done a lot of articles showing the benefits of glutathione. And there's just a lot of information out there. There's 10 or 12 main points about the benefits of glutathione. The only problem has been, and they even say this in the NIH articles, that some of, of the benefits aren't quite known because no one's ever had a working form of glutathione that really, really helped people or did the job that people claim they did. Um, if you have a glutathione that you think works, it should be validated, it should be absorbable, it should be reduced, and it should be stable, shelf life. All those things make it affordable and usable for the, for the public. It should be oral too for it to be considered a, a legal supplement. When considering the wonders of glutathione and the benefits of glutathione, it's helpful to think about the benefits of another antioxidant that's out there, a really powerful one called vitamin C or ascorbic acid. Vitamin C does a lot of wonderful things for us. It's very antiviral. Um, it uh, helps with blood vessel health. It makes you feel amazing. It helps with bone health. It does a lot of really good things for you. And it's critical for hormone production and stuff like that. Vitamin C, we can't live without. You get scurvy and you die if you don't get enough vitamin C. Well, it's the same with glutathione. You can get diseases from not having enough glutathione too. Let's go through these and I'll show you what they are. First of all, glutathione is very important for our immune system functionality. CD4 and CD8 T killer cells, the hunter seeker warrior athletes of, of the white blood cell line use glutathione and like to cover themselves with it like a porcupine does quills. I hope you can kind of see the image. Think of a puffer fish without the eyes going through your body, millions of them doing their job. The little spikes that stick out are the glutathione. Glutathione has a very sticky molecular end of its long line. And glutathione is, is kind of long and narrow and one end of it is very sticky. That's the sulfhydro group, the part you smell, uh, that gives it kind of its funky, almost rotten egg odor. Uh, not, not a really good reduced glutathione that's stable and hidden in another molecule, but the bad stuff that's out there that's oxidized, you can smell it, it smells horrible. These white blood cells, the CD4, mainly the CD8, T killer cells cover themselves with the glutathione and it sticks out like a porcupine does quills like I said a minute ago. They rumble through your body and they use that sticky end, the sharp end of the spear to go after any viruses, any metals, toxins, lactic acid, whatever, and remove it from your body and uh, dump it into either your bile or into your, your uh, renal function for it to be disposed of. That's how those CD4 and CD8 T killer cells use glutathione to work. Metallothionines, 23 enzymes that move metals around in our body, also need glutathione. A third of the metallothionine molecule, it looks kind of like a pitchfork, is glutathione. It helps, again, the sticky part is how the metallothionine grabs whatever metal it's designed for, like gold or silver or cadmium or lead or mercury or copper and move it around uh, using that, uh, that glutathione sticky molecular end. Let's talk about some of the research benefits by the NIH, the National Institute of Health, on what an absorbable, effective glutathione should do for you. The first is it should be extremely antiviral. It should help with HIV virus, um, shingles, herpes, EBV, the first thing those viruses do, oh, let's throw in hepatitis C and hepatitis B too. The first thing those viruses all do 
is turn off your ability, and they all use different ways to do this, oddly enough, but they turn off your ability to make glutathione. It's because glutathione is your body's most antiviral substance it makes. And so the viruses want to turn off this defense mechanism very quickly. So it's the first thing those viruses do. And then you make very minimal amounts of glutathione. As a matter of fact, in AIDS, if your glutathione levels reach zero, you die. That's what this, all the studies have shown, because you have no more immune system left to fight the AIDS. The CD4, CD8 T killer cells are defenseless. They have no spears to attack the HIV virus, and it, it wins the battle at that point. Glutathione, an effective glutathione, also should help in the removal and detoxification of any heavy metals because it supports the functionality of the metallothionine um, enzyme. Metallothionine requires reduced glutathione. As we grow older, it's harder for us to make reduced glutathione. You get into your 40s, it's really difficult to make reduced glutathione. In your 50s, 60s, 70s, it becomes almost impossible for most people. Not all. I've seen people in their 70s who make plenty of reduced glutathione, but for most of us, it just becomes a lot more difficult. Also, all our genetic errors kind of pile up at that point, and many of those, FUT2, GAD2, um, NAD, some of those errors, GSTP1, GXP1, those kind of errors all prevent you from making optimal levels of reduced glutathione. The problem isn't that we can't make glutathione, the problem is that we can't reduce the glutathione back to a usable form. So it's either in oxidized form, that's called GSSG, or it's in reduced form, that's called GSH. And as we grow older or we get diseases or we get toxins or we get too many heavy metals or we get uh, too ill uh, from prolonged uh, protracted diseases or illnesses, we don't make enough glutathione. Another example is glutathione should, and this is a research benefit also from the NIH, should help with burns. When you get a severe burn, your glutathione levels drop to almost zero. Glutathione should immensely help with burns, even the slightest burns sunburns, whatever, it should help dramatically with, with uh, the healing of that burn and the dissipation of the pain. Also, the glutathione should help with uh, neuropathy or neuropathic pain, say from diabetes, say from shingles. It should either resolve it or dramatically decrease it if it's a true functional glutathione. That's more research benefits of glutathione. Glutathione is amazing because mainly it's used by CD4 and CD8 T killer cells to remove things in our body that shouldn't be there. Glutathione, if your levels are high enough, it should dramatically reduce inflammation because the glutathione is removing the inflammatory substances, such as in rheumatoid or osteoarthritis. There's been all kinds of studies by the NIH on that phenomenon. It does an amazing job with those, removing the inflammation, especially from like RA or swollen hands or joints or, or uh, knees or hips or whatever, it should help. Also, you can't uh, oxidize cholesterol into plaque in the coronary or carotid arteries or any of your arteries if your glutathione levels are high enough and you maintain high levels of, of glutathione. If you're one of those blessed people to have super high levels naturally of glutathione, of the reduced glutathione, then you're really lucky. It's why you don't have coronary artery disease or you don't get strokes. You'd, eventually something else takes you off this rock when you're well into your 90s or early 100s. Glutathione, in theory, should dramatically help with mental clarity. We've seen it. We've seen glutathione do this in a number of research studies. The NIH has too. The mental clarity aspect, especially for people my age, in their 40s or 50s or 60s or older is amazing, even for younger people, especially if they've been out drinking the night before or they have a lot of toxins in their system. They, they've been out windsurfing in Hawaii uh, and, uh, and been drinking beer or whatever all day uh, and haven't taken good care of themselves and they feel very toxic and sick that night. Glutathione, in theory, should help that situation. Um, and uh, again, in our studies, we think that it does do that. NIH says it does, it should do that, and we agree. Glutathione should 
help with kidney disease, chronic renal failure, chronic kidney disease, because it removes the toxins from the nephrons and it also stimulates growth of new nephrons in the kidney. It's pretty amazing on the way it should function and help with renal disease. And I think there's a big future for glutathione, a functional stable glutathione in the future for, um, for kidney disease in that marketplace, helping patients with their disease rather than having to go on dialysis. It's something to consider for the future. So glutathione is amazing. Our research, the NIH research, the research that's available out there from other universities is incredible on glutathione and what it should do. When you ask what it should do, it has a thousand different benefits that are known and probably more that we don't even know about. Glutathione is amazing and the, probably the best thing it'll do, just like with, with uh, vitamin C, it'll brighten your day and make you feel incredible with consistent usage once someone develops a marketable, absorbable, validated, stable glutathione that's, uh, that can be readily used. I hope this helps all your questions about glutathione and what the benefits are of glutathione. Um, and if not, go look on PubMed and research glutathione and whatever uh, disease you might have and see what benefits there, there lies therein. Uh, what the research has shown. Thank you very much for listening. I really appreciate your time. I love all you guys. God bless and go in good health.